This is question four in the ACT math practice exam I'm going through, and it looks like we're going to be dealing with some geometry today. So let's go ahead and read the question. In the figure below, the measure of angle XAB is 92. The measure of angle YCB is 143. So we've got 92 and 143. And X, A, C, and Y, those four points, are collinear. What is the measure of angle B? So we're looking for this angle right here, right? All right, well, you probably noticed a couple of things as I was reading the question. One, you've got these two angle measures, and you also have X, A, C, and Y identified as collinear. Collinear just means they're in a line, which means this line, X, Y, is just a straight line. So you may know that a straight line equals 180 degrees, so both of these big angles are 180 degrees. So you may also know that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we can get this angle here and this angle here, then we can figure out what B is. All right. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I take 92, I know that 92 plus whatever angle this is equals 180 degrees. So I just say 180 minus 92, and I can get the measure of that angle, and that is 88. So the measure of this angle is 88. And I can do the same on this side. So 180 minus 143, right? Yeah, 143 equals what? 37. All right? So this angle equals 37. Now all I have to do is just remember that the interior angles of a triangle, the three of them together, add up to 180. And I can figure out what B is. So let me start by adding 88 plus 37. And 88 plus 37 equals, what, 125. All right. And then, so I know that these two together add up to 125. So whatever's left is what B has to be, right? So whatever is left of 180. So the last thing I do is just take 180 minus 125. And that equals 55, which is, ang uh, which is answer F.